Triplet's range of modelling and craft tools includes both stainless steel and plastic handles for the Swan Morton blades, so widely used in craft and modelling. The most popular blades used are the 10 and 10A, one being pointed and the other rounded, and both have slightly different uses. Equally well known and available is the common metal handle, the blade just slides on with a pair of pliers. We've also got a slightly more luxury plastic stroke rubber handled version which is slightly easier to hold in the hand. To attach the blade we simply pick it up, get a pair of pliers, hold the back of the blade and slide it through the groove and then push and the blade should clip on like this. And there we are, we're ready to go. There's a couple of tips for cutting balsa that are really useful. Notice the grain on the balsa runs this way. We can see that by the long brown streaks. And if we want to cut across the grain, uh, we should always use the pointed knife. The more rounded one is useful for cutting along the grain this way, as we'll see in a moment. Good tip, once you've drawn a line on that you wish to cut, use a hard edge, like the Shesto six inch ruler there, Bring it up to the line and then use, rather than one deep scoring cut which can crush the grain, use a series of shallower cuts to get the cut you want. You end up with a much cleaner edge than you otherwise would. That's one tip and using the pointed blade to cut across the grain of the wood. If we now have a situation where we want to cut along the grain, let's draw our imaginary cut line on. Again, always use a hard edge. It helps guide the blade of the knife down the cut and protects your fingers. Bring the ruler up to the line and then using the round blade, simply follow the line of the ruler to make the cut you need. By the way, it's always much easier to cut along the grain than it is across it.